everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome. It's you, me, and a junk mail envelope today. And I thought we'd have some fun with some fabric scraps and a junk mail envelope. And let's see where this takes us. Okay, I'm just going to pull out some fabric scrappage. Here's some random fabric scrappage. Um, and you can source this stuff by rummaging through your... If you have a fabric supply, if you're a quilter, great. If not, go in your closet and find some stuff you don't wear anymore and take some snippets of it and just say, you are moving to a grander, higher purpose in life. Oh, oh shirt, oh dress of mine that I no longer wear and only takes up valuable space in my closet. Come with me and be put on, an, on a junk mail envelope. Now this junk mail envelope has windows. Now you can keep the windows intact or you can cover them. It doesn't matter. It's your envelope. Do what you want with it. This is a bigger um, envelope. Uh, apparently I have torn the edge. It's not perfect or anything because I ferreted in, in there at one point. But we can hide all of that with our special ways that we have. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to make what is basically a called a wraparound. So this thing um, will not be glued. It will be a removable piece of embellishment um, that may hold some ephemera or something like that. But I, okay, let's see if it, yep, that's going to work. Okay, so we'll just take a random page in here. Well, let's see if this works. My pages might be a little, nah, it's, it's going to be all right, I think. Well, just for per example purposes. Um, I'm going to paperclip it on here. And that way you can take it out and you can explore it. So it's not going to be glued, glued down. It's a removable. I think what I'm going to do is step one. I'm going to really surprise the heck out of you and come in and ink it. Because <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be easier to ink initially than it will be later. So just my old worn out little brown dauber. My vintage photo because that's what's here. I'm going to grab my water bottle squirter. Wake up my ink. You don't have to do this all the time, but sometimes mine. I leave the lids off all the time so that'll wake it up as long as there's ink in here it will refresh it you can also spritz the end of your job there's a lot of residual ink there so let's just go around and do this we can have fun we can just glue little bits of fabric we could do a collage we can do a purposeful scene no oh, maybe oh, see i mean just purposeful scene that might be interesting a purposeful scene with fabric maybe we'll do a fabric collage with a purposeful scene or not. We'll just see how it goes. We're flowing with the wind. We're in the craft room. And it, I think it's easier not to have a lot. Listen to me. I think it's easier not to have a lot on your desk because you, then you can see, um, uh, you know, what you have and what you can play with. And I'm really saying not about having a lot on your desk or not. I'm talking about just having a few supplies close. Okay. That just sounded like a whole pile of baloney. But, um, yeah, sometimes when I pull out too many supplies, I get overwhelmed. So I've just got my envelope and some random weird scraps. Let's see where this goes. I ain't even know yet. So and as a, you don't have to have a preconceived notion, a, uh, a design plan, anything. No, 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 you don't have to. I know. I know you thought you did, but you don't. <laughs> and um, it's okay to go off in tangents. If you're all of a sudden compelled to do something, do it. Do it. It's only paper and fabric. Um, I don't know, I'll just ink you, but I'm, I know I'm going to cover you. I don't know why I'm inking you, but I'm just here, I'm inking. So I think it looks cool already. Even with this weird little tear, just if you put some ink on it, and it looks cool. It's like, it, it looks purposeful. I know, I know. Okay, I think I'd like to ink around here. And let me see if I can figure out a way to ink that without messing it up too much. Now, that I don't think the ink is going to stick to the, um, why can't I find my little ruler? You're always here. Oh, there you are, right? Yeah, you were always there. I'm going to use this as a, a, a little blockade. And I just want to, I just want to, just maybe move it down a little bit. Just want to ink. Oh, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. But hey, we're here now. Okay, we're moving forward. Um, it could have been finely done. I just want to emphasize the um, windows a little bit. I love the old world look of this already. Is that, it's like so you know, pompous to love your own stuff, but I love this. <laughs> I, I just love the way it looks, okay? I just, I think it looks really cool already, and I don't even have to do any more, and I haven't even played with the fabric yet. Um, so you could just take some old envelopes that come in the junk mail. You know where the junk mail comes. Some of you get lots. 
Some of you not so much. You can always ask your neighbors for their junk mail envelopes. Maybe they don't want to give you the inside stuff because they think you're going to like sign them up for some uh, like crematory special if you go down and sign up now thing or something. I know, I know. Um, the weird things you get when you get older in the mail, you know, it's like, hey, let's go bury your body for a deal. We got a deal how you can get rid of yourself in the, in the end days. What? What? No. <laughs> There's too much fun to be had. Don't go down that path yet. Okay. No, it's not a bad path. Pre-think these things. Okay. There's a little piece of material. I think this is from a bed sheet. What do we have here? When we open it up, we have little bits. Well, you're too fat. And we're not going to work with you today. Oh, this is a cool piece. This was, what is, what was this from? I don't know, but it's, it's definitely old. Maybe from a book. I feel like it's from a book. Like maybe the spine of a book. I love that old stuff. It's just, I love it. Love it. Did I say I love it? Oh, we have you. You might be long enough to, oh yeah, we can cover you. We can totally do that. I will need some scissors. Get some scissors. Don't chintz yourself. You're going to need the scissors. Okay. Will it be long enough? This is like a little ratty piece of something from an old book. What is it? That's going to come off, so we'll, we'll not glue on that side. Let's get this organized here. We're going to making we're making a big decision, a bold decision of what we're going to glue first. Going to get the Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Not sponsored, just like the glue, but in case you're looking for it. Um, and I, I transfer mine into this Sugar Bales Clear Icing Piping Bottle, just so I get a thinner stream and the, the walls of this are easier to squeeze than this, this, this big hard one because my hands get tired. So, okay. Enough said. As everybody asks about the glue, that's why I say that all the time. So I try and like get your answer in there quickly. Okay, let's put it. Putting down. Hopefully I have enough glue. I think I do. And up. Okay. Yep. I can fray that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we got that handled. Okay, the flapper has been dealt with. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I can use this to back inside there. Maybe I can put those inside there. Maybe I can do that. Let me see. Um, all right, let's cut this off. Let me get a real fabric scissor. Just cut this edge off, and that's going to give me enough, I think. You don't really need a lot of fabric, but it's nice to have variety. I, I would say variety over quantity. Yeah, if I could just listen to my own advice. Um, that's kind of pretty. Okay, where's the pretty part? This is like a little shell. That would be nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put you there. Let's make sure we don't... We need to cut you big enough, but not too... Oh, boy, this is going to be tricky. Okay, well, let me just give you an edge, first of all. Of course, I'm using the wrong scissors. So you're going to go in there. Then you need to come at least to here. So let me snip it you up there. Okay, so you could be the top one. Oh, you're too tall. You're too tall. All right, let me see where you, you need to be cut. Okay, about there. I hope I don't go too low. Don't go too low. Okay. Oh. Okay, what do I got? Looks perfect. Okay, so that's the top one. Do the bottom one. It's going to look a little different. we we'll do this one. Okay. Got to cut this edge off. Tear. Pseudo measure. That means fake measuring. P S E U D O pseudo. Um, a mollusk, like a clam or a mussel, often have pseudopods, which are false foots, so that they can stick them out in the sand and kind of inch their way along, like push. We're going over here now. I'm moving the whole shell, the whole apparatus. The house is coming with me. I'm three inches over here. Now i got to rest again. I'm back inside. <laughs> it's kind of like that. There you go. Um, I like invertebrate zoology. That was one of my favorite classes in school. I know it's weird. It's, I, I just found it fascinating. We had to identify all these really cool sea creatures, and that was so much fun. Okay. Um, I know. Whatever floats your boat, Pam. <laughs> okay, let's go. It should be the same size as the other one, right? So that's what I'm, 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 eyeball, I'm eyeballing. That's what I'm doing. There's a big, fat eyeball going on here. And what about the height? I think I need to come down on the height of Smidgeru. Maybe not much. No? Okay. I hope this works. Okay, we don't know at this point. Maybe I'll move this one to the bottom. Maybe I need that, the lighter one at the top. 
All right, let's try and put the bottom one in first. This goes great in my mouth. Okay, so it's gonna glue inside like that, like eh, this way. So it's gonna, it's gonna, let's just see what it looks like. Okay, now you can glue it two ways. Totally to, up to you. You can glue it. This is my theory. I wanna glue it this way. So it's here and then I can put things on the inside. But you could actually glue it to the back. You don't have to like kill yourself and try and figure out exactly where. You could just glue it to the back. Yeah, why am I trying to kill myself? Why not just glue it there? Yeah, that's easier. Like glue it on the back, this back piece. Let's try that. Let's try the easy way out. Yeah, let's do something easy. Okay, let's just do this. All that extra measuring was for not. See, you didn't even have to do any of that. That was a total waste of time because you could just glue a bigger piece in there and be done with it. I'd probably like get your edges down so you're not sticking stuff that gets stuck on there. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to place things gingerly inside and they're getting jammed on the edges. Just get in there and stick this to the back wall in the right place. Oh, let me get the right place, the right location. This is going to be the tricky spot. I'm already covered in glue. I can feel it. Okay, this, this is where it... It, it, it's easier, oh, no, no, too low, I mean too high, come down, you're not there yet, okay, all right, go there, okay, see if that's good, make sure you're not folded, look, it's cockeyed, but it, oh, yeah, no, hurry up, it's gluing, okay, get it in place, I'm trying, so much pressure, okay, there we go, we got it, all right, we're in, yeah, not bad, huh? Okay, so I've got, I'm working with my little envelope. I'm, I, of course, I'm working with my little envelope. I'm working with my little window. And um, now we're going to glue the second one on. Well, that was fun and dandy. Let's see if we can do that again. Okay, here we go. Put the glue on pan. It's all good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Just random glueage. Whoop. Okay, go down. Thin, thin things. Try and, try and get to the edges. Don't glue on the envelope, Pam. You know, you, you shouldn't do that. I know. I know. And this is an easy way to get the glue to the edges. If you're trying to, instead of trying to, like, put the stream there, just use your finger to get it out. Now you can have a gluey finger, but that's the way life goes in the craft room. You might have a gluey finger every once in a while. And some people can't stand the glue on their fingers. I kind of like it. <laughs> so this is my happy place being covered in glue. Okay, so we can get this in the right spot. Okay, go over far enough. Okay, over far enough. Line it up. Okay, that, I see I'm better at it now. So you do one, and then you're like a pro. You know what I mean? Like, struggle, pro. Yeah, that's how it goes in crafting. See one, do one, teach one. That's what they used to say uh, to us in school. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling the glue off my fingers because I like to do that. And I try and throw it in the garbage because that's the best place for it to end up. I feel like I want to emphasize these um, the window edges a little bit more and I am now reaching for my, you guessed it, you got it, the Aquarellable Stabilo Pencil 8046, the water-soluble graphite pencil. And I think I'm going to go around right on the edge of the window on the paper. Yeah. That's a, okay, that's in my mind. This is working. I'm going right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just get the graphite on the paper because we're going to Use a little water to get it to bloom. Try and stay close to the edge. You may veer off north or south. It happens, east or west. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do this one because I think it will give us more of a stronger focal point. And that might be fun. Now you could put anything in these little windows. Get inventive. You could put postcards, postage stamps, tickets, paste, oh, news, uh, like text from cool books, with like old world text or... Uh, caramelized fiction book pages, things like that. Oh, yeah, baby, that would look awesome. Okay. What's very helpful here is a Q-tip. So I will go to my little Q-tip reservoir. I'm right there. I've got one. I'm back. And um, uh, a little bit of water. You don't need much. This is my cup. But you don't need much. Okay, I'm going to go so closer so you can see the excitement of all of this. As it happens, wetter. Yeah, and then it will kind of bloom. See? It blooms. See that bloom? Yeah, now we got more old world emphasis. Cool, right? Okay. Be before. After. Before. After. Okay, let's do this one. Need a little more water. All right. 
Here we go. Here we go. All right, there we are. And you can transfer a little more down here if you feel like you just need a little more. You wipe this on, on your shorts. Okay. Back to bigger picture. Now we have that. Okay. That is cool. I really like that. Um, okay, so what else do we have? Just try and work with what you have, Pam. Right here. Okay, we still have more of this. So I do like, I could do more uniformity of this stuff here. I kind of like this stuff. This is really cool. It's just something I ripped. I'm pretty sure this came off a, a book spine. Could have been the inside or outside. It's just an old ratty piece of something. Um, hmm? Hmm? Huh? And we can just build a little, a little whatnot. Okay. I'm just going to build a little, like, collage of whatnot over here. I don't really know what I'm doing at this point, but we're just rolling with it. And I just love, like, when you find this stuff, don't throw it away. Like, use it. Glue it on something. Wow. Um, okay, I'm just going to put that. Not too close to the spine. I want the spine to be able to be folded easily. So, this I'm calling the spine. There. You are there now. I have another piece. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I could, I could, I could, oh, I was, I could draw, I could make a scene. I could, <laughs> yeah, I could make a scene right here. Um, okay. What's a, a, a little hut? No, that's silly. Yeah, yeah a little hut, Pam. Um, maybe we'll just stick with collage. <laughs> um, oh, what's this little piece? This is like a little fuzzy piece. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. I like that look going there. Um, you could also go here. Get a little piece here. Down here. I kind of like you there. But I do like you there. That's kind of cool. And you're the perfect length. I'm just going to put you there. I'm just going to work with what's going down here. Okay, I'm just going to do another piece of fabric across here. Quick finger smoosh. And then applying the scrap can do a lot with fabric scraps. Doesn't take much fabric. Just remember that. So just get variety. Did I tell you variety is your friend? Yes. Yes. I was not kidding you. Um, when you try and use this pencil over glue, it just doesn't work. So there's a little glue showing there. What I can do is come in here with the, this is called the 11th hour get rid of the glue roll. If it's still not dry yet, you can, you can roll it off and out of the way. So there it goes. That's out of the way and gone. Um, for feeling like I want to... Okay, I was going to outline this pink piece, but I think I'm going to actually do a little outline. I'm going to get, give myself more visual distinction. That's what we're calling it today, Pam. Visual distinction. We're doing a little bit more play with the um, the Aquarellable Stabilo water-soluble graphite pencil. It really should be called Fred, because that would be much easier. Okay, so... There we go. Fred and I are playing again on the shorts because we don't know what to do with it. Um, okay, I kind of like that. More emphasis there. Maybe we'll do that here too. Maybe we'll do it on both sides. Oh, look at us go. All right, here we go. All right, here's your hat. Yeah, okay. Pull it out. Still, I wet on it. I think it's wet enough. Yeah, it's wet. Getting out. Oh, it's Very nice. Look at that. Okay, now that wetness will make your paper a little bit weaker here until it dries. So just be gentle on it. Gentle, gentle. You could go around this, but I like the contrast there, so I'm not, I don't feel like I gotta do that. Um, I have some blue. There's some pink. Um, what would this be? Maybe I'm gonna do like, oh, I don't know, maybe a little mini collage or something down here. I'm gonna try to fray this a little bit. And. Fraying of the bottom. There's some fraying starting already. Fraying can be your friend. Don't always have to stop the fray. Just embrace your fray and move up. Maybe I'm going to build on top of that. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Okay, so and you can actually use Scotch Create glue stick, permanent glue for not sponsored, just like the glue. Um, light fabric products. I actually saw it on its like website or Amazon page or something. It said you can use it for light fabric things. So I did, and it does work. So that's very easy to use like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, building a little collage. What else do I have? Little papers of whatnot. I think these are part of this. 
So that would marry it from one side to the other, bringing some conformity and unif unifying the, the two halves, like we got out of art school last week. Look at us go. No, no, we didn't. We didn't go to art school. We're just playing with papers because it's fun. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. Okay, no, whatever. Maybe like that? Yeah. Or, or no? Maybe like that. Oops. You gotta try a few on for size. Fray. Fray, fray. <laughs> Not cray, cray. Fray, fray. Yeah. Can both be uh, used interchangeably, apparently. There. There. Yeah, I, okay, there. No. That's right. There. No. I think you have to be totally in the brown thing. Okay, let's try that. We're going to go with this again. The Scotch Creek lose it because somebody said that you could do that. Okay. I don't know. There, we got some contrast. A little fraying action. Fraying is showing. I like when fray shows. Um, what else do we have? We have the little edge of that. Oh, that was kind of cute. Maybe we'll make a little, a little, little lip on something. Okay. Maybe we'll even add it to this. Maybe we could put it like right there, on there. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna keep meandering around. Oh, that I like. I, I do kind of like that. Here and here. I don't have enough for two. Oh, but I have this. It's a leftover piece. It's a little big. Uh, Sometimes I need well enough alone, Pam. Okay. I do want something else on here, though, and I think I'm going to draw on it. Just, I'm in the drawing mood lately. I don't know. I don't know. It's just coming out, so. All right, so we're going to put it on here. Maybe we could do not draw. Maybe let's not draw. Let's do a rubber stamp. Oh, okay, how about this? A little peg stamp of a B. Okay, let's try that. Uh, maybe even black. Black is a nice... Popping neutral. Okay. Soak that baby. Okay. All right. Okay, this is just going to get weird, but we're going to do it. There's like some bees coming out of this weird thing. I'm just going to draw a little, like this is where they're going. Off the page, because that's always cool in art class when you run off the page. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe we'll put some bees over here because... We can. We don't have to, but if you did, it might look something like this. So I'm just kind of, oh, I got a circle. Try not to push too hard for the circle of it all. Yeah. There we go. Now we're rocking. Don't know what we're doing, but we're definitely rocking. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Um, this little area, do I need to fill it? Sometimes you need eye rest space. Um, you don't have to fill everything, but it would feel like a word. I feel like there's a little word here. I don't want a word. Let me see if I can find a word stamp. Go over here to the word stamp section. Oh, here we go. Here's a good one. Oh, no, here's an even better one. Vintage. I found this on eBay or Etsy. Can't remember, but I thought that was, that was a, that was a cool word to get. Hey, that's up our alley. All right. Black soot. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're, we're cooking with gas. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's see what we have now. We have nothing on the inside. Okay, I think I... What is that? Oh, look at I have fabric sticking up here. Who, who did that monstrosity? Look at this. This is like... Gluing and not knowing what you're doing. Okay, instead of cutting it off, maybe I'll fold it over. Yeah, that's a better opportunity here. Let's do that. More, more Scotch Creek glue stick. Folding this over. Yeah. Oh, I have this little weird piece. I could stick that over here. And just glue that right on there. And that would build the edge of that. And handle that whole little issue. Now we got to be careful it doesn't get too fat. Because we still want to leave room for tucking stuff and we want it to fold. If it doesn't fold, I'll be okay with it too. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> all right. How about we do that? Okay. That's good. Then here. Okay. There we go. You, you don't seem to have enough glue. What's going on here? Maybe a little more. All right. There we go. 
doesn't always have to match. No, now you can go off in different directions. Maybe we'll do a little more collage here. I do have these lovely, oh, that would look really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's just glue that baby down. That just, that just has to be there. Where's my Fabrifix? There it is. Okay, this is more of a loosey-goosey piece, so, can you see? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna randomly glue this, and stick her down. Yep. Okie dokie. Okie pokey smokey. Okay. And and we're going. And we're doing this. Hmm. Okay, we got that good. Maybe a little something like that. Or, or up here. Oh, I got a weird thing here. This is where the, the tape ripped off. And it's kind of rough and nubbly. So I'm thinking instead of like trying to cover it up, which we can do, you can also ink it and emphasize how weird it is and bring it into the forefront of, yeah, look, there's a, there's a weird something there. This is kind of weird here too. I'm gonna try the same very complicated technique of daubering it. Yep. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. I just want to dubber the whole thing, showing the definition of the flapperoo. A lot of fun can be had with one envelope. Um, just a couple supplies. You can even use makeup. You don't have ink. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm feeling good about that. Close your glue. See the glue? Keep it closed. Close your pads because you always forget. And let's glue some more of this brown stuff on here because this is kind of cool. I like it. All right, we'll just glue that on. Um, it's nice to use up what you have. It feels sort of good. You're like, yeah, I used this today. And it is now in a project and no longer in a landfill. Okay, you are kind of cool. Maybe more random collage. We'll just do a little random collage play here because it's fun and um, it uses up our little bits and pieces. Mm, maybe we'll randomly come over here because you fit there. And I'm putting you over here because you no other reason other than you fit there. Okay, so there you go. Now we have to somehow unify these. You don't have to. Oh, what's that? I have these things floating around my desk. This is a little paper cut thing my dauber. I will ink this up a little bit just so it pops a little more against the background because it's a little bit of a neutral color. Oh, that's very nice now. I could have them touch. There's something about when they touch. I don't know. It's like a thing. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, there we go. And there's a little bird head. It has to be on there. It's just part of it. It's the flower bird head central focus piece, which now is really cool. I don't know, I just, I really like that. Um, so this, my plan was gonna fold like that. This, the plan was it was gonna fold down, but that might get really bulky. So maybe I'll leave it up. I'll just leave it up. And it'll be an entrance to things I want to put in here. So let me find some fun things. Okay, so I found this old letter. It's strange, it says it's from 1894. But when I turn it over, it says, oh, it does say 1894. <laughs> I thought it said something else. Never mind. <laughs> Mystery solved on that one. Okay, so let me take this out. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Um... The old fold. See, that's what an old fold really looks like. That's a real old fold, like dirt vintage line. Here's an, here's a fold that had no dirt on it. Here's the one that was exposed. Kind of cool. It's just like neat to see the, the real weathering and then trying to mimic that. Okay, that doesn't look like this, but esque. You know what I mean? Old esque. Okay, so this did, it did fold at one point. Oh, it, it doesn't even have to. See, that's nice. I can have it tuck, stick out. Yeah, that's cool. And I have this Easter greeting card. Very cool. An old card from 1909. 
a greeting card. Hello. It's, it's Easter greetings postcard. They used to send postcards. What a smart idea. Who needs that envelope? We do. Okay. And these were less expensive to send than a card. So that made sense. We put that in there. That's kind of cool. And you could put more if you want, but I'm just going to do that for this video. And let me just give you an example of how this can wrap around. I'm just going to get myself one of my fancy, my super fancy made with you guys um, altered paper clips. Hmm. Hmm. At the ready. Uh huh. Uh huh. I really like this journal. Did I ever say that? Oh, that that was fun. <laughs> okay, so let's just see where do you want to be. Here. Oh, you could look cool on the pink. I'll put you on the pink because it's. Let me back you up a bit. Okay. Pink, pretty, and pink. Okay. Wrap you here, and now it's, the spine is dry, so I'm, I'm not fearful any longer. And I'm going to clip you on, maybe down here. There we go. All right, so now we have that. So this will bulk up your journal, but you can remove the entire thing, debulking it. Okay, giving the person lots of writing space if that's your thing. So there you go. I hope you liked that. That was fun uh, to make with you guys. So yeah, if you've got an, a junk mail envelope, which you might, um, or you might soon. Oh, look, look at this. No lead. Again. Um, let me find Snuffers. Snuffers, where are you? I'm over. You know I'm on the couch. I'm hiding in amongst the white pillows. Yes, I see you hiding in amongst the white pillows. Come here. Come here, my little purse. You're the size of a purse. <laughs> All right, coming over, waking up. I know, I know. It's, it's early this morning. It's okay, though. Yeah, so when I get up in the morning, he's, he lays around in bed for another half hour. It's like he gets up when he gets up. It's, he's like, not on my schedule. He's like, hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. And um, I got a little pup tape. Um, I was on the couch. I was hiding in the white pillows. Mom can't ever find me there until she does. Okay, okay. She looks there first because that's where I go. <laughs> and I get up. When I want to get up, and not a second sooner. That's right. She has her little morning routine. There's the bathroom. There's the coffee. There's the go check the computer. And Sunshine is often still in bed, snoozing. Because I get it about snoozing. <laughs> Mom needs to snooze more. You might need to snooze more. Yep, here you go. That's the invitation to snooze. It starts with the yawn. And I say, don't, don't resist the snooze. Embrace your inner snooze. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sunshine. We'll, we'll take uh, that advice from you. You're welcome, anytime. I got, I, got, I got more. Okay, I'm sure you do. Are you going to go back to snooze? Yes. Okay, <laughs> very good. Thank you. All right, back in your little Betty bye. All right, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. If you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. The link is down below in the description box to sign up for that. Um, actually, I'll give you the link here in case you're looking for it. Okay, this is the link to sign up for my free monthly emailed newsletter if you want to just type it out. Um, and you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. And, um, a uh, list of page ideas on how to break a blank page. Uh, also, I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. On the other days, you can watch Spotify podcasts or video podcasts. Uh, there's a whole bunch on there. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find journals and bundles and kits when they are available. I also sell digi kits, which are printable downloads. Um, they're five pages of themed images you print out at home. And you can use them in your artwork or your junk journals. So they're fun for making uh, uh, pockets, tucks, things like that. They come themed, like birds, Victorian, dragonflies, and there's over 200 now. And um, if you don't like to print or you don't have a printer, I have a print and mail service where I will print out 10 digikits for you. Uh, you don't need to buy each individual digikit. Just um, send me a list of the names of 10 digikits. You can either send it through Etsy message or to 
pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email address. And uh, then I will, and just buy the print and mail option, and I will mail those off to you. Free priority and shipping is included with that, so you should get it relatively quickly. And I have um, a fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. If you like those types of things, you'll get 100 pieces random of um, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, um, black and white photos, lots of interesting book pages, um, music papers, di uh, dictionary page, lots of fun things to use in your junk journals for your creating. And I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, you're going to find links in there. That does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the item for using my links. So thank you very much for, for those. And um, I have a t-shirt shop. So if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug, tote, or water bottle. And also, um, you can find me on social media, on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. Thanks to our admins and mods for helping us create a very safe and happy place that is very focused over there. And um, love seeing what you guys make from these videos. And um, we do, I think I said, weekly and monthly challenges. Um, and remember most of all that, hey, fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.